Meredith, front on the right. Aaron, what told you John Carlos Stanton was ready to get back in there and ultimately why him over Encarnacion? <clears throat> he was one of them that told me. Um, just felt good about his progress yesterday. Um, you know, it felt like it was the first day where he made s some pretty good progress. Um, you know, clearly not 100% running. Um, don't feel like hitting will be an issue for him. Um, and, you know, just have to kind of govern govern himself out on the bases. But, um, you know, he's been kind of wanting in there the last few days and held off, held off. And then <clears throat> he actually did come by my office last night, and we both kind of said, let's go. And uh, so excited to have him back in there. And last row on the right. Coach, right, right here. Uh, good afternoon. Could you could you talk about what you told the team today about their discipline with the strike zone and how important that will be against Verlander tonight? What did you tell the team about that and how important is that? I haven't told them anything today about that. Um, that's always, you know, I think those of you that are around us know that it's something that we talk at nauseum about, you know, about controlling the strike zone and, um something that those guys are very good at and will be important for us moving forward today and and on in this series and um, if we're going to move on we've got to be able to do that at a very high level especially against a pitching staff like the Astros. First row here on the left Andy. The defensive infield that you're putting out there in this series is obviously really good and really talented mm -hmm. that you had the chance to maybe sleep on it. Do you have any explanation or thoughts of why they had a rough night last night maybe there is no answer but yeah, yeah no I mean I have a ton of confidence in, in that group um, in the defense certainly we're running out there again today tonight um, it's it's been one of the strengths certainly in the postseason for us and we had a bad night last night and, and those things you know unfortunately happen sometimes and but you know have all the confidence uh, moving forward and those guys that they're going to continue to play at a high level. You worry that the way that game kind of spiraled, some guys just got sloppier than usual and had to do with the situation. I don't know. I mean, that's when you make mistakes. I mean, that's, that's how it looks, but you know, as far as moving forward, um, confident that these guys will flush it and go out and, and play like they're capable of tonight. Far right. Kenny. Aaron, uh, after the game last night, you were pretty honest about how disappointed you were in your in your team. Do uh, you remember being more upset or surprised at your team's performance since you took over uh, this job? I, I don't know if <clears> – <throat> I mean, you know, it's obviously a, a lot on the line, and when we don't play our best, I think everyone gets frustrated at that because we expect a lot of ourselves. I know our guys expect a lot out of themselves. Um, but one thing I know about them when we have – throughout the year um, done things at a very high level or had a clunker or, or not played well. Um, I feel like this team is, as much as any uh, that I've been around, do a very good job of letting yesterday roll off and, and being hyper-focused on the day and confident that'll be the case today. Okay. Going to stay there on the left? I'm sorry, on the right. Aaron. Chris. Could you walk us through the conversation on the mound with CC and Stevie last night and anything you may have talked with him about today? Yeah, well, we 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 sensed for a couple pitches that maybe he was you know, he had hurt himself. Um so I I actually called Stevie over. We saw him throw one more pitch and then we kind of ran out there. Um and <clears throat> CC just, you know, obviously talked about his shoulder and then said but I want to th let me throw one, see how it is. And he threw one, and right away you knew that was it. And he just he and Stevie walked off. So there wasn't a lot of conversation other than you know, Cece's not very dramatic at all about it. It's just threw it and knew that was it. And uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, as far as what? Yeah, um, you know, just kind of you know, I think. Um, you know, he knows my, my affection for him. He knows his team, his affection for his teammates and how we all feel about him. And, you know, I think there was, you know, and, and he and I even kind of laughed about it a little bit, like kind of, uh, 
in a weird way, kind of a perfect way to go out. You know, he's been the ultimate teammate, competitor, gamer, left everything on the field, left everything he had on the mound. And, you know, you know, one thing is I talk about our, to our guys every now and then about is, you know, <clears throat> give us everything you got. And CC embodied that, and he left it all out there last night. Down here in the front, Barry. Booney, uh, just following up on that, from your perspective as a manager, I think it's always probably difficult to tell people that they're coming off a roster or they're being sent down. How emotionally taxing was that for you to have to talk to CC and basically realizing that this is the end of his career? Um, emotional, um, but a lot of happiness and joy in it too, you know, you know, I talked to him in the food room last night and hugged him and, you know, had a lot of really good comments back and forth with him. And, you know, he knows, he knows what he means to me and to us. Um, so I think it was, you know, some sadness, but, but, but also a very happy, happy time. And, um, you know, CC will be fine. Far right, John. Aaron, as a pitcher, CeCe's obviously used to being around the guys on days he's not contributing on the field in some ways. What role do you think he has to play for you guys in these next three games if you're going to advance? Yeah, he'll be the same. He'll be this presence on the bench, um, presence in the clubhouse. Uh, one of the things about having him in the bullpen is I've missed having him on the bench, you know, looking over there and, and – hearing him or hearing his laugh or, you know, hearing his chatter, um, you know, I'll, I'll pass by him every now and then in a game, in the middle of a game, kind of for some levity for myself and just say something that I noticed uh, happening in the game or in the stadium. Um, so in that way, it'll be nice to have him back on the bench tonight and, and, and look over and, and be able to see him. You can stay on the right over there, Joel. Aaron, you've been around the game in some form or fashion since you were a boy. I wonder, have you ever come across anyone who was a starting pitcher who was looked at as a leader in his clubhouse like him, young, old, hitter, pitcher, all backgrounds, et cetera? It's, I don't know at the level that CC is. You know, when we're talking about a Hall of Famer, um, I mean, we've been going through this all year and all the great things being said about CC. I think everyone understands how authentic it is and genuine. He's, he's the best. I mean, he is, he's, he's how you would draw, draw it up from a teammate standpoint, from a competitor standpoint. Um, you know, one of the greatest you know, one of the greatest things CC has, and I think is one of the greatest things on a human being, is he's kind of dripping with humility. You know, that's that's real. That's who he is. You know, a lot of people can come across that way. CC is that, and it's why I think he's beloved in there, but across the sport, and and really with with anyone he comes in contact with. Um, but as far as a ball player, a competitor, and a teammate, it's hard to draw it up any better than CC Sabathia. In the back, Tyler, on the right. Aaron, from a team and a, and a series perspective, at when you're when you're down three one and it's going to take a big comeback, do you ever draw off of your own experiences as a player in the postseason, or your father's, or or anything that you've seen in the game to know that it is possible at a time like this? Probably. Have you? Um, in fact, Sweeney just reminded me, uh, the Brewers were, the Brewers were playing my dad's team in 82. They were down two nothing. They came back and won three, two. The Red Sox were up or the angels, my dad's team were up three, one on the Red Sox in 86. And the Red Sox came back. I remember that. Well, I remember crying on my couch, um, watching game seven in, in our house, um, you know, I, I, I know that I think the Cubs came back from 3-1 against the Indians. 
not just our sport, but all kinds of sports are littered with um, stories of comeback. So we know we're certainly capable of that. We got a tough task tonight against a great team and a great pitcher, and we'll look forward to going out and and hopefully uh, grabbing one and getting on a plane. Second row on the right. Aaron, is Severino an option out of the bullpen tonight? We'll see. We'll see. Um, had some very little conversation on that, and I haven't talked to Sev yet. I know the pitchers are out there throwing. So I wouldn't necessarily, probably not, but we got a few hours before the game to kind of talk through things, but I don't anticipate them. Okay, take one or two more. Dave, here on the left. Aaron, in Stanton's absence while he was hurt, it seems like in a number of these games you guys were, you know, one pitch or one hit away from kind of breaking things open. Yeah. What kind of advantage is that now with Encarnacion slumping as he was to be able to insert him uh, and hopefully maybe get a get a spark out of it? I mean, that's a lot of times what the postseason is, the playoffs is, you know. you got to take advantage of opportunities. Uh, the last few days, <clears throat> you know, we haven't been able to do that, and it's it's been the difference in us, you know, win and lose in games. So hopefully we create more opportunities. That's ultimately the goal is to create those opportunities. Now we got to break through. And, you know, that's that's hard to do, especially when you're facing good pitching and, and getting a hit is a failing proposition. But the more opportunities we can cr create, hopefully we can break through with a couple and, and get on that plane. Anything else? Thanks, Aaron.